What is up, YouTube? What's up? It's Grace Sam with Dream Media. And Sam. We're out here in beautiful Frisco, Texas. Yeah. Doing a little install for you guys today. It's going to be a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system with Klipsch. We'll be running a Sony 295 for our projection and doing a screen innovations. Pure gray screen today. Mm -hmm. 120 inch. 120 inches. As well as we're going to be doing some TV mounts around the house and we'll just show you those as well. guys we made it to the space it was a little rough road but uh, <laughs> we found out where all of our speaker lines were none of them are punched out in the wall so the guys went up in the attic space above and found out where they were yeah. we're also gonna have to be relocating some because it's a poor wire placement and the customer wants Atmos and because Atmos is the best yeah so let me just show you the room and what we're gonna be doing all right so we got our fronts here Left, right, and center, we're gonna be putting them about 40 inches off the ground, one there. We do believe it's in between this stud and then on that, and this stud over here. As well as our center channel is gonna go there and our pure gray screen with the backlit LED kit, which is already wired for power, which is nice. And we're gonna to try to locate where the cat cable goes so that we can uh, use it for infrared capabilities to control it with our universal remote, the light kit that is. Down here, our subwoofer is going to be going. For some reason they ran coax and four wire. Not sure about that, but for our in ceilings, they originally wired it so there's one there, one there, and one there, and then one over here for your surrounds and surround backs. Instead, we're just going to use the surround backs how they had them wired for Atmos instead, because those are actually in pretty good spots. And we're going to have to do some sheetrock cutting up here for our surround backs. We're gonna bring them down this wall. This is an exterior wall. It's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna get it done. And we're gonna be doing the same over here for our surround backs. All of our wires are terminating in this closet here. This is gonna be a 5.1.2 when we're done with it. There'll be our system. On the ceiling, luckily they did put a Smurf tube in, but we are gonna have to have power for our Sony projector the 295. We're putting the 24 LCRs from Klipsch in our fronts and we're doing the 16 RCs in the ceiling and 16 RWs for our surround backs. All right guys and that's SPL 120 in there Sam. <laughs> oh hi. Cool well, we're gonna get started and uh, update you as we go along guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's get it on. No. Got the laser out, making sure that our uh, Atmos in ceilings are uh, nice and level with those can lights. We're shooting right in the middle of them. Come right there. All right, guys. As we said before, today we're doing 120 inch. Pure gray screen from Screen Innovations. I got a gray here to help me out. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of give you a little step by step and show you uh, how you put this thing together and what it comes like. All right, all comes out just like that. One big unit. Yeah. Make sure you got some print. I can do it by myself. Guns. So that big tube right there is your screen fabric. That's very important. So now you got your zero edge part here, your horizontal and vertical frame pieces. And uh, it's just like any other zero edge screen that we've unboxed for you. We'll probably do a little demo at the end as well. I don't think we've done one for the pure gray. Just to show you guys what you may expect when uh, you guys get one for your house. These are, technically this is the zero edge. When they say zero edge, it does have an edge, but it's about a half an inch, maybe less, very thin bezel. All right, so this is your hardware box. 
It comes with a tamper seal just to make sure, you know, nobody shortage you anything. Go find some gloves for handling the screen. An SI LED badge. This is basically a clear, like acrylic or plastic. That's got a magnet that sticks to the bottom of your screen once you're done. So that way, whenever you have a uh, LED kit, it really shines and looks good. Totally optional. You have your uh, side brackets. LED kit that we're going to install afterwards and show you guys how to do. Mm -hmm. So two different types of L brackets. You have your thick and your thin ones. You can see that right there. So thick and thin, you want one per corner. One of each per corner, let me specify. One thick, one thin per corner. You also have some uh, mounting screws as well as some uh, Allen keys for some uh, different various parts. Some little rubber feet just in case you want them on the back side of the metal so it doesn't scratch up your wall. Your mounting hooks, these just go directly onto the wall. Your screen sits in the top groove there. And that's about it. A couple more Allen keys. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to get our L brackets in place and uh, take it from there. Now that you got your corners all touching and connected, you're going to get your screen opened up. We're going to have to move this frame out of the way, lay the screen down, and put the frame back on top to secure the uh, screen to the frame. So we're going to do that. All right, now that you've got your frame placed on top of your screen, you're going to undo the little sticky tabs that keep all the uh, gray connectors together and uh, spread them out to line up with your screen. This can be kind of rough. It'll move a little bit and uh, yeah, you'll see. All right, next thing we got going is uh, to do the snaps on the screen all the way around. You want to start in the corners, not the very corner, but the uh, ones on either side of the corner. You do those all the way around, and then you start in the middles and work your way outwards. I have no idea. <laughs> all right, guys, bit of a progress report. We uh, got all the snaps done on the screen. Then after that, we put in our LED kit. So see those. Uh, then the cables come through this hole and then you peel the tape off of the back of the LED and just place it in the groove here. Do that all the way around. We recommend putting a little bit of a, uh, a loop at the corner. That way you get uh, plenty of LED there so you don't have a shady corner. Do that all the way around. And then whenever they uh, meet, you just simply, uh, it's hard to see there, there you go. You simply cut it on the copper tabs, don't cut it anywhere else, and then overlap them by as little as possible. All right, then next after that, we put in our uh, bezel. It's the, this one right here. So they basically kind of snap over. You want to do the sides first because they have little L brackets attached to them. You lay those down into the groove on the inside with the little bit of bezel on the front. Then you do your long pieces and just lay it on top. Uh, next, you'll come in and you'll attach the screws into the new pieces and uh, tighten them down. And you're good to go. You got yourself an assembled screen. Next thing to do is uh, mount it and our projector. Let me just show you what we got done so far. Well, we got our front left in, our subwoofers in. This one was a little hard. He had a stud in the way, of course. Here, if we want it perfectly centered, we had to etch out a stud right there. And then there was another fire break here. So we had to shoot through this fire break. And then the center speaker line was uh, through it up in here in the wall cavity. Over here, as you guys saw earlier, we did have that water line in the way as well as another stud. And it looked like another fire break as well. We did get that speaker in there pretty clean, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and we got our IR ran. We traced that back down, back to the home run in the closet. 
And we already had power here for it. Both of these are for our LED light kit. In the rear of the room, we have our two Atmos speakers in. That one also did have a uh, stud in the way. So they had to etch that one out a little bit, a little cross beam. And then that one went in smooth, like I said. All right, guys, Sam is mounting the projector screen bracket to the wall. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you, go ahead. What I did was I uh, made sure I found some studs that were closer to the edge of our screen from center. I uh, measured the height down from the top of the screen from our desired height to uh, where the bracket sits inside the frame. So on this model, it's three and a half inches down from where I want the top of the screen is where these sit. So then I've now uh, screwed those into the stud, made sure it's nice and level. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. having problems lining up the threads, try uh, going backwards first until it drops. take this opportunity to run the HDMI and Ethernet since we have ad access. Gracie, you out there? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got our pole in place, we got our cables run, we got our power ready, we even got our Wattbox uh, surge protector on there. Uh, next thing to do is to put the beast itself up. So Grayson's helping me out here. strong mounts. They have uh, grooves on the side that's on top of here that sit on top of these grooves and it's got a bar across the front that hits the bar in the back. Now if you put the arrows on right, it should just slide on just like this. Just like that. Alright, so that's on there. Now that we got that, I'm going to level it on the mount, make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to take my screws and my Allen wrench and put the safety screws onto the side of the rails so it doesn't fall off. All right, guys, this is our finished result of the surround speakers. We're going to have those patched as well. All right, drywall guy is going to come in later. Turns out our front right speaker, it was uh, not working, of course. So we had to run a new one. Must have got hit by a nail. Wasn't toning. Uh, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Take us a little bit more time. So we had to do the same thing over there, unfortunately. Now we're about to calibrate the amplifier and then run some demos. Still working on cleaning this up in here, but uh, it's coming along. Just a lot of wires. Yeah, that's it. 